Hey, what's up? This is the Chicano Knox coming live and direct. And I'm gonna give you my quick reaction to this little statement I found on my Twitter feed. And I quote, and it says, God prefers kind atheists over hateful Christians, end quote. Wow, <laughs> this is a nightmare. This is terrible, terrible philosophy. This is atheistic philosophy. This right here assumes a lot of things, all right? And number one, my first reaction to this is like, God prefers kind atheists over hateful Christians. First of all, this is kind of like a, this is a well-crafted keyword, tweetable. This is well-marketable. This right here has been crafted. That's my first thought, that this has been crafted. This was not thought of on the fly. Okay, that's number one. Number two, this assumes a lot of different things. Like God prefers, how do you know God prefers? God prefers orange juice over apple juice. That's the kind of philosophy that I, I get when I read this. God prefers kind atheists over hateful Christians. It's another assumption that all Christians are hateful, right? It's too generic and broad over hateful Christians. Does that mean all Christianity or some Christianity, right? If you're referring to some Christians that are hateful, then yeah, you know, some Christians can be hateful. But what about atheists? This assumes that all atheists are kind, all atheists are perfect and holy and, and without without objections and, and flaws. That right there is a false um, straw man assumption that atheists, all atheists are, are, are kind. Is that true? I don't think so. So a lot of blame obviously is going on in this one little sentence, right? Would you, wouldn't you agree there's a lot of blame going on here? The atheist is pointing, you know, uh, to the Christians, right? They are speaking on the behalf of God because they're saying God prefers. Like, how do you know what God prefers? Well, let, let's go to the source, to the Bible. Romans chapter 5, verse 8. It says, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, that Christ died for us. With that word us means believers, a community of believers for the church. Christ died for the church. If atheists b repent of their sins and put their trust and faith in Christ, then yes, Romans chapter 5, verse 8 applies to you too. John 3, 16. You already know that one. Let me go ahead and 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. Anyone who does not love does not know God. Is that what you're referring to? Because God is love, right? That's what that verse says. Well, what kind of love, right? What kind of God that are we trying to associate here? So, so yes, if you're a Christian and you're not showing kindness and love to your neighbor and to yourself and to other people, then yes, you might need to check yourself, right? But that, that does not mean, uh, you know, an unchecked love that compromises the truth, that synthesizes with the world, that agrees with atheism, that tolerates falseness, that tolerates fakeness, right? Because that's what the atheist worldview is, it's fakeness. Proverbs 8, verse 17. I love those who love me and those who seek me diligently find me. So I know that passage you're talking about wisdom. That passage is amazing, but it's God speaking here. It's God's word. It's the Bible. So it's God saying, those who love me, seek me. Those who seek me diligently find me, right? So, so are atheists, are you guys uh, seeking after God truly, honestly? Or are you guys just being a bunch of jokers, fakes? It's an honest question. It's a legit question. Mark chapter 12, verse 31 for the Christian. If you're listening, the second is this, you shall love your neighbor as, as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Yes, that applies to, to our neighbors who are atheists. And I define atheism as uh, non-religious, as those who disagree with religion and who live life without religion and don't believe in God, right? They could be militant. They could be practical. There's a lot of different types of atheism, right? So us, we Christians, we need to love those people as well. We need to show them the kindness of, we need to extend the God gospel, not only through words and through, you know, sharing books and literature, videos and sermons and stuff like that, but with action, with respect, do it in kindness, do it in love. You're going to tell them repent, start a conversation first, get to know that person, acknowledge the atheist, right? Acknowledge that that person is created in the image of God. Don't just run up to them in their face and say, Hey, you, you're, 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 you're atheist. You don't believe in God. You're going to hell. Like don't start the conversation like that. That is not respectful. That is not honoring. That is very child play type apology. Apologetics, okay? Repent from that if you're the type of Christian that does that. 1 John 4 19. We love because he first loved us, Christian. So the motivation of loving your neighbor comes directly from God. That's our motivation. We love because he first loved us. It's an eternal example for the church that we are motivated to love strangers, love atheists, love our enemies, love Christians of other denominations because the example has been set for us that God loved us. So so there's a connection there. The, there's that flow, right? And, and this is not based out of your works. This is not based out 
of our own nature. We left to our own nature. We won't. We won't love anybody. We, we will be like the atheists, left in our own nature. This right here is devoid. This this quote is devoid of all scripture. Is devoid of the true God. Like I said, it's an atheistic nightmarish quote. <laughs> the man, th this philosophy is crazy. I feel bad for those whoever believes this. If you agree with this, if you like this, like you, you better check yourself. Listen, Christians are not hateful. Christians are the salt and light of the world. Okay. And this is what I saw on my uh, Twitter feed. And I, I just had to reply to it. I had to react to it. You know, hey, God loves everybody. You know, love is love. Let, let, let live, let live, whatever. So, uh, you know, that is not the true God. So just to let you know. Anyways, that's it for me. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. Catch you on the next reaction. God bless.